uh, I don't know what happened. I think I deleted the actual live link. Hopefully you guys can find me. I do apologize. I went live, but it wouldn't rotate, so I had to back out. Hopefully everyone can find me. I am so sorry. Come on in, and if you're here, let me know you're here, okay? Yeah. Hello. Jen, hi. Oh my gosh. I know. It wouldn't rotate the device, so I backed out and it completely deleted the whole thing. So we may need. I don't know if you can grab this link and put it in the group for me. <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> Help. No one's going to be able to find us. Um, can you guys put a link in the group for me? with this live because the other one's no good the link's bad sorry my apologies everyone we are doing a breast cancer awareness sorry got a when I was trying to fix everything I smudged my camera <laughs> so this is my little tester <laughs> paper Thanks, Jen. We'll see if anyone shows up. I'll give everybody a few minutes. That is so terrible. They like give you no room for mistakes at all. <laughs> Gosh. Um, I wish it wouldn't disconnect me. I'd go put a link. Oh, you guys could share on my page too, I think. Um, in my business page and my private page. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I'll send you a gift card. <laughs> I do not see comments. Oh my gosh. Hi Donna. Yay, we got someone. I see seven of you. Well, I'm glad you guys kind of found me. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what we're doing tonight. Breast Cancer Awareness and Hummingbird. And just reminding everyone to get their tatas checked. Next month is October, so we're a little early here. But I chose to do it now so that you can make your appointments for your uh, mammograms in October. So we're not going to forget. This is our reminder, right? Yeah, that's what I think. I am so sorry about that. The channel business. I don't know why. It's not even showing that I'm on. Like, I'm on YouTube and I can't find it. Hmm. I guess if you back out and come back in, possibly. So I'm going to be using my gouache. The... Oh, there I am. Okay. So, yeah, you got to back out completely and come back in to YouTube to find the new live stream. So, when everybody clicks on that old link, it's going to say, I'm sorry, user remove the video. That's kind of what happened, but not really what happened. So, I'm using my neon gouache, and you can get these in a set or in singles. And I think there's more available in singles than there are sets. There might just be a couple of sets left right now. Because um, we're short one color, I think. Anywho, uh, that's what I'm using tonight. And I have taken mine and refilled my gouache um, wells here. I like mine. I just let them dry and then I use it from the well. If you got, Let's talk about some watercolor maintenance. The gouache tubes, they are, they do have, you know, an expiration date. They last between six months and a year. So if you notice that they're, you know, smelling a little off or, you know, just, they like to, let's see, they're all organic. So they kind of, um, what's that called? When, you know, you make alcohol, <laughs> oh my God, my brain went dead. They ferment a little bit they have honey in them and you know gum arabic so a lot of sugar anyways that ferments and so you can get some really interesting smells coming from these if you notice that's happening just squeeze them into your paint palette here because when they're dry that doesn't happen at all anyways that shouldn't happen for six months 
you know, to a year because of the clove oil. If it is, you give me a ring and we'll fix that for you. All right. Back to, let's paint, you guys. Let's get some pretty paint down there. Hi, Karen. <laughs> nice to see you. Hope you can stay this time. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Amy. I'm so glad you guys found me. Sorry about the little snafu there. I tried to get on, but it wouldn't rotate my camera. So I'm going to be using um, the opal, uh, opal ice also. This is a uh, custom order. So if you like these, they have to be ordered custom. I can order the pigment and make them for you. But they, I'm just getting them wet right now. So they are a flake, a holographic, I'm sorry, a chameleon flake. And they require a lot of um, water. So you want to get those really, really, really wet and let them set for about 10 minutes before you use them. I'm also going to use some of the holographic pigment. And this is the actual, like, hologram pigment. So, anyways, that's in, it comes in three different sizes in a set. And that's also a custom order. So I have done the decoupage with the um, image that I uh, posted just before live, a couple of hours before live. I had taken it and uh, cleaned it up a bit and lightened it so that it could be used for a traceable or a decoupage. So let's get busy. Hi. Yes, the fridge is a good place to keep them if you have room. I know... Lots of people don't have room in their fridge. I don't, so <laughs> I put mine in my dish and let them dry. But the reason, you know, they, I don't make them in the little pans anymore because you get more this way. And you probably, you can fill four half pans with these, two full pans. Um, so it's quite the deal. Quite, quite the deal. So I'm going to start with my magenta. Here around the wings. <laughs> I know, I need an art fridge for sure. Katie and I have been talking about it because, you know, to keep the paint that we make because we have leftovers. So to keep that paint and the binder, we need to get a little fridge for the art room. <laughs> My neons are crazy vivid. I don't know if you guys could see that, but they are kaboom in your face. You can dilute them down for a very sheer experience or use them uh, full blast like I just did for a very, very vivid experience. I'm just adding some where I want to see it nice and bright. All right. It was, Connie. Yes. I'm kind of stuck on that. <laughs> it's such a nice trick, you know. Yeah, I did. I printed it out on the tissue. I fussy cut it real close to get rid of those splatter marks because I want to make my own. And then I left the parts that I would have traced. So... Hi, Phyllis. I'm so sorry about all that business with the um, link. I try, you guys. I'm challenged. <laughs> I don't know how to work technology very well. All right. This is the neon blue. And I'm going to combine the two colors. Pull it through.
Thanks, Connie. <laughs> I'm going to use some of the aqua neon. And here I'm going to mix a little of the yellow and the orange to tone down that yellow. Make it more of an Indian yellow instead of a bright neon. Oh, it did it again. <laughs> I don't know about this. You know, it says pinch to zoom. I just barely touch it and it goes bananas. <laughs> All right, we're going to use some of the green. And I'm kind of going off basic part of this. And if you're wondering what the shimmer is, I will show you that in a little bit. That's the Aurora Ice. Not the Aurora Ice, the Opal Ice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aurora Ice would do that too, but the Opal Ice has more of a kapow to it. Grab some of that blue. Blue. Drip. And it's okay if you go out of the lines with watercolor. It's kind of the look. Oh, Lord. There. I'm sorry. Zoom. Out. In. Out. I don't know. This is a uh, blue neon I'm dropping in there. Just doing a little defining in the colors.
I know, Sandra. I'm sorry. It was my fault. I'm still dingling about technology. <laughs> I started the live and then it didn't, my phone wouldn't rotate, so I had to back out. And when I did that, it deleted the event. So that is totally my, my bad. I apologize. Thank you, Jen, so much. Thank you. I'm making some purple with the blue and the magenta. Because I, I want a different kind of purple. <laughs> And then we'll use some of the red and orange neon right here. I think I like it. What do you guys think? Hi, Connie and Phyllis. Again, sorry. Yes, I like saying hi to everyone. Thanks, Dan. Okay, I'm going to change brushes if I can find, there it is, <laughs> to my little two, I believe, yeah, two round by Princeton Neptune. I know, this is a gua <laughs> these gouaches are my favorite, the neon gouache, oh yeah. <laughs> Let me grab a little bit of that neon blue and do the beak then I'm just going to use a little water to dilute it and pull out a lighter blue like so and up here I'm going to make just a tad deeper bit of that magenta and work on the ribbon. So breast cancer awareness. 
was talking about it when we were first on, but we didn't have anybody listening, so <laughs> maybe a couple of you were here. And uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which I'm sure you all know. So make sure that you get those ta-tas checked out. The reason I chose to do uh, my Breast Cancer Awareness night early in September is so y'all would remember to make your appointments. So make sure when you get off tonight that you put a reminder in your phone, write it down, write a note, tape it to your forehead, your fridge, your mirror, tell your husband, your son, daughter, whatever, to remind you to go to your mammogram appointment. They say that early detection is a very good way um, to make it through breast cancer. So the more of us who get our screening, the more of us that have a chance. And don't forget, um, as well as having your own screening uh, to support those who are, you know, fighting the fight. Do your walks, donate, make your rocks. Um, just get out there and rah, rah, rah for those people who are fighting and the survivors. And the ones we've lost. Good job, Sandra. <laughs> Mine's this week. <laughs> Hi, Katie. <laughs> we were just talking about the tatas and reminding everyone to do their thing, get their checkups. This is just a little titanium white paint that I made. It's in the Air Quad paint set. And that's available on postcards. If you guys don't know, I do sell some paint. Usually when I release a paint, I'll also release it in postcard or greeting card uh, format later. For And these are only $10. So the Halloween just came out just now, right before the live. If you've been waiting on your Halloween set, the postcards are now in the store. Um, so you get a cute postcard, some goodies. I always include stickers and, you know, little fluffy things. If you only order the postcard, chances are you don't get a lot of the fluffy things because, you know, it goes standard mail. But if you order the postcard with something and it has to go in a bigger package, then you get lots of fluffy stuff. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, how it goes. Lots of fluffy things don't fit in an envelope, so... Anyways, there's that. It, this tea is so good. If you haven't had it yet, you're in luck. It's coming. There's also another one. I'm not going to say which one it is, but there's another flavor coming to you soon. Hi, Shay. <laughs> oh, no. The audio was I gone. No, well, I didn't have much to say, except for it was important. Get your tatas checked. <laughs> the message was make your appointment make sure to tell your friends and loved ones to get theirs done too so <laughs> letting this dry a bit okay let's check our op opal ice over here and see if it's ready it looks ready yeah nice and juicy there's your word Katie and juicy so that opal ice should look like yeah, mush when you're using it. Definitely you want it to be really watery. It's a, this is a um, flake pigment. So they're, it's very large. See that? So cool. Anyways, we're going to apply this to our hummingbird without rubbing. We're just going to lay it down like so. You don't want to drag it across because your watercolors will go with it. So we're just going to pop it on there like that. This is a special order, so if you want these, send me a message and we can get this custom made for you.
I don't even have my flash on. Let me turn that on and see. Oh, yeah. Get some of that gold up here and around the face. Thanks, Shay. I think you have these. Oh, Shay, Shay. This is a fun way to use them. We're going to make this hummingbird glow. You do have these. Yes, the opal eyes. I don't keep these ready made in the shop because the pigment is insane and expensive. So it's a special order if you... I can see the messages coming in. So if you're messaging me... Um, it, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It is about a six week process. So you let me know you want it. I order the pigment, then I make it and it takes it a long time to dry because it's a flake. So at the end of six weeks, I'll send your paint. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? But it's worth it, isn't it, Shay? Yeah, the dab dab seems to work really good when you're using it with watercolor and you haven't sprayed in between. <laughs> the dab dab's pretty important. That way you don't um, move your stuff around, you know. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. A little bit of blue in there. Okay, it's very, very wet, so I'm going to put the fan on that. And then when it's dry, we're going to do some lining detail touch up and it went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. We're going to have to do something else too. <laughs> oh, it is dewy right now, <laughs> but when it's done, it'll be nice and shimmery like like this when it's dry see that our bird will you know how hummingbirds are right so that was that one and then this one has I know it, it kind of got messy on this paper but that one also has the holographic um, pigment in it too which I'm gonna use um, on the beak, so I guess I could do that too. I wanted to put some of that. And these are a special order too. I do have some of these ready though. Made. I always go overboard. <laughs> I know you feel like there's never such a thing as too much glitter, but mm, there is. See how cool that is. It's the full spectrum holographic paint.
See, I go overboard every time. I go messing things up. Am I crazy? That's right. Never such thing as too much bling, right? Okay, gonna leave it alone. Quit playing with it. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I like it. I know, right? 12 step program. <laughs> You're right. Christy, you're right. Look at that hollow on the tail. Oh, yeah. Let me see how many I have of those while this is drying real quick. Hang on. I have a few of the opal ice here. I just don't have all of the colors. But I have a few. Let me know if you guys are interested in singles. Because this is what I have ready right now. And like this one's a triple layer. So that one will be $20. I know it's a lot, right? These are $10 a piece. I'm sorry. Yeah, $10 a piece same here these so this is the medium spec that's what's on the tail right there and then this is the chunky one and this is the fine so that's the $30 set or you can buy them separately for 10 and then these two are 20 if you like these two colors so there's a purple purple this one's kind of a mixture of purple and green oh I'm sorry there's three $30 ones Tur 20 20 <laughs> sorry yeah so these are those special orders these are pre-made, but if you want the whole set, I can order the pigment and get working on it. <laughs> so pretty. It sure does add, doesn't it? Just the right amount of bling. Love that. All right, I'm going to make the eyeball with my black, my crazy black. that dry and 
and I'm going to use that little tiny dot of black right there and make a big pile of black because it will spread out. See that? <laughs> and that's what we're going to use to line. The more water you add, the more it spreads. It's just amazing. Yay, Phyllis! <laughs> Thank you. You love this black. See our birds getting dry. Yeah, gotta love these. I think I'm out of the, I may not be out of the, I don't know if I have these in right now or not. <laughs> these are the unicorn horn brushes. I don't know if they're in the shop. Oh my gosh, I haven't looked. Anyways, the same brush that's on the other ones too. I do have a cool brush coming. It's um like rainbow chrome coming up the handle, kind of like this one, but rainbow. I don't even know what's under there. I can't see it, but that's what I'm doing.
I'm kind of making up my own thing here because I can't see it. <laughs> I may or may not be following the pattern. <laughs> Hi, Mida. And then there's a whole bunch of little bitty feathered details. And if you can see them through your paint, you don't need to, you know, touch them up. Hi Donna, send me a message, hun, so we can um, get you what you need. Thank you. You can either message me on Facebook or in the Etsy store, either one. Eventually, I'll need you to message me through Etsy because that's how we make a custom order is through an Etsy message. And it has to be generated from you because we can't, I don't know why we can't, but we can't make a custom link without you asking us to. <laughs> It's crazy. I think this might be my favorite, most favorite hummingbird ever that I've done. <laughs> I think I overlined a little, but I think it's pretty. All right, I'm going to put some white, a white dot in the eye. Then I'm going to attempt to write breast cancer awareness. Oh, my handwriting's not all that lovely. Let's see. Let me find a water brush. But we can fake it, right? So I'm just grabbing a little bit of the color that was in my tray and then dipping the tip of my brush in a different color
not my best thing. Shelly, can you come letter for me? <laughs> There's a crazy looking breast. Okay, so yeah, not <laughs> lovely, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that doesn't look very nice. Let me get my eraser. Don't know. Water and paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> Make a mess on the rest of the rock. Not much better. Oh well. That's a C, not an E. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Yeah, not my best either. I've not practiced a lot, so I'm very, very out of. I don't do a lot of lettering. That's okay. I don't know where I'm going to fit awareness. Yeah, that's so not going to work. <laughs> okay, small. Think small. I just went with my own handwriting. <laughs> Forget all that business up there. I'm going to redo that word. I don't like it. And that's the fun of watercolor. Look at that. Goodbye. Go out of here. Now y'all know why I like it so much. I'm just going to do all this over again.
gone. Like it was never there. Yeah, I know. I messed up the word. Thanks. <laughs> Missed my E. Can't spell either. Just gone. Woohoo! Ah. All right, so I'm gonna decoupage it on there. <laughs> I will cheat every time, and you know why? Because I can. Why not? I just cut off the R. Great. It's destined to not have any words on it. Okay? I'm telling you right now. Just you wait. This will look really cool in just 2.5 seconds. I'm not kidding when I said I'm going to decoupage it on there. <laughs> uh, it has to say it. Because that's what we're about today. But we will fussy cut with this. And it will all be good. You know, I sell a bunch of stickers. None of them say this, but because I'm about easy, you know, it's, if you struggle like I do with lettering, um, and I haven't been practicing, which is how you get good at it, you need to go watch some of Shelly videos because she is like the best. And she will tell you, you have to practice. This is not something that you can do like in a minute. And if you can, great, because then you just, you know, you're predisposed to very nice handwriting. <laughs> but. <laughs> and it doesn't fit. Oh, yay, yay. Okay. Can it just be breast awareness? That doesn't make sense, huh? <laughs> it's this word. There we go. If there's a will, there is a way. I think. Tata's on it. Yay. So Tata Cancer Awareness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over the wing is good. I'm good with that. I kind of like it. It looks like a sticker, you know. Do you guys like it? I need to spray this though if I'm going to put that on because it will go bleh. And it'll make that sound effect too. Bleh. I could write it with my own handwriting, probably in a pen. Probably okay. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. So, do you guys have like any questions or anything that I can hit for you guys like um I don't know some maybe Q&A because this was like a really short live it's only been an hour I know you guys are probably good with that but 
I'm used to hanging out for a couple. So this went by really fast. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> That's not my lettering. <laughs> but it's pretty, huh? Sometimes I am really good with some letters, but, you know, not tonight. I'm not feeling my letters. I may just hold off on this because I think I want to try to do it myself. I just don't think I can do it tonight. You know, when you know, you know. Um, let's see. Opalize. I'd have to, you got six of you would have to order it for me to drop the price. Because it's really, really, really expensive. Let me, I don't even, I haven't seen my messages yet, but. Yeah, we can talk about it. You can order it in singles, too, if you want. I will do that. If it's just. This right here is like a single layer. See how they're really, really shallow? That's a single layer, $10. A double layer is $20. Triple layer is $30. Keeps going. You know what I mean? It takes a massive amount of that pigment to make it into paint. <laughs> Silly, I know. So these here, they're actually double layers, but... This is a triple layer. These are doubled. It's infuriating to watch them go <laughs> when they shrink down. It's like, no, where did you go? But I'm sure you guys have noticed when your paint dries how it shrinks. I know it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. <laughs> so, no questions? Okay. Uh, the neons, I believe, right now, the gouache, I, I'm not doing the neon in the pans anymore. And the reason for that is, can you see how the neon cracks really bad? So, in shipping... Sometimes they break apart and fall apart. It doesn't hurt your paint at all whatsoever. But it makes it kind of hard to keep them in the pan to get to you sometimes. So I just sell them in the gouache. In the gouache you get more paint. It's easier for everybody. I don't have to worry about the cracking business. and Because I like my formula. I don't want to change my formula just to make it stay in the pan. Does that make sense? So, because I love... I, it's like perfect the way it is right here. I don't want to change it. I mean, I can add more uh, gum arabic to the binder to make it work, but then it becomes very glossy. You know what I mean? Like when you use it, it's a... Uh, glossy is not the right word, but it does shine. It shines on your work, and I don't, I don't particularly like that. It's also sticky, very sticky, so... I think the gouache has the perfect, it's the perfect um, pick, uh, binder to it. Yeah, they're still available. Uh, I see right here, I don't know if anybody's ordered one in the last day. But I have two sets, I believe, right here in the gouache. Two sets, and then I have singles. You can buy them in the singles. Um, the set's a better deal, but you can buy them in the singles because I believe I'm out of the turquoise. So there's still the other seven colors. Turquoise was a new color I added anyways. But the other seven are... If you want a set with the other seven, just let me know. We can talk discount for sure. Just send me a message because, heck, if you're going to buy all seven of them, you pretty much bought the set. Yeah, all the other seven colors are available and those two sets. So hurry up and get over there. Oh no, are they already gone right now? Let me look, Donna. 
I'll put, um, I'm, I've got my thing open here. Let me look. No, it's, uh, oh. Oh, oh. Might be right. They are gone. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put two in there, but they date the color. They're going to be quite upset. So send me a message and we'll make you a custom listing, okay? And I'll give it to you for um, 55 if you guys want the set without the eighth color. So that's, um, yeah. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I got for tonight, guys. Sorry, I thought it would take longer. <laughs> Hummingbirds are my favorite. All right, I will finish this up and post a picture of it with the um, tutorial in the group. Thanks, you guys, for coming over and hanging out with me on YouTube. It really helps my channel grow. Don't forget, pretty please, pretty please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't. And tell your friends to come over here and hit that bell and subscribe because that helps the algorithm. It helps me uh, get to you guys because... The more people who want to know, the, the easier we are to find on a search. So, yeah, like my video. <laughs> so you I, hate, I hate asking. It sounds like begging, but please don't you love me. <laughs> I'll beg. <laughs> All right, you guys. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Night. I know it's not October, but go do your thing. Okay, do it for me, do it for you, do it for the people who love you. Have a good night. Goodbye.